Hey guys, Swampfucks here. Alright, we just got done uh, taking down Briarback Crawl, which took forever. Uh, but Squire Augustus has a quest for us. Let's see what this is. Trouble at Fort Dalen. Sent to Brennadin by my commanding officer to find a tide stage to help us at Fort Dalen to the west. The Naga have started another attack on the Bastion, and it's larger than any we have seen. Lieutenant Bauer is in the middle of helping our civilians at the village near the fort, and she could use any help possible. See you later. At Fort Dayton. Had about enough of this Naga crap. It's a long walk. I want to do the others, but you know, getting distracted. Only three more areas left, but there's like one, two, three, four, five quests, so some of those aren't for the Storm Song and Dance achievement, so figure that out. Whoa, whoops, I fell. What? What's this? That later. Uh-oh. Thing. No wonder he's pissed. Look at him, he's got like eight arrows in him. Really need the hot key. That hunter doesn't even thank me. Oh, what's this? Look at all those bears. Uh, let's head to Fort Dalen. We will not falter. These fishermen are no pushovers themselves. They should be able to hold their own. A little help. Keep your wits about you out there. Freedom from the sea! Oh, freedom for the sea. Naga along this coast appear to be trying to push the shoreline up the hill. Here, We've been able to keep them back at the beach so far, but they've been binding more elementals than we can keep up with. Without a tide sage, we have no way to free the elementals from their bindings, but we cannot allow them to push forward anymore. The spirit of the sea should not be contained by anything. Slay them. <laughs> and let them return to the ocean. Naga Sorceress leading the excursion seems to be in the process of binding a larger elemental. If it succeeds, we will no doubt lose our foothold here. 
break out at her. Perhaps you can catch her off guard and interrupt the ritual? Remove the head from these snakes. When Naga Force first arrived, there were a handful of Loho fishermen out in boats. One of our scouts reports that most of them have been captured and are currently being held, being kept in cages around the beach. Free any of them you happen to find and point them back here. We'll get them armed and remind the Naga that you don't mess with sailors. Remember the storm song. Oh, wow. 122? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's... Oh, I need a... I get a key. Good for one or multiple? Nope, good for one. Good to know. I need to get some food. Drown these insects, my children. Show yourselves worthy of my pride. <sighs> it's always Queen Azara.
Swan Song will endure. Slow them down. No idea what this might be, but I don't like the looks of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These numbers, we should be able to hold on on our own. Oars and fishing nets make surprisingly effective weapons. Shifting tides. I'm no tide sage, but even I can tell that whatever you have there is probably not a good sign from the ba for the bastion. There's one of those tortolins, Rickle, who's been helping us figure out solution to whatever the Naga are planning in front of the levee. He'd probably like to see this. Keep your wits about you out there. Ho, oh, oh, oh. ho, ho. Well, I definitely should have taken the road. Step closer and don't mumble. Hmm, this is concerning. Very concerning. Oh, that's concerning. Healing in the big one. If you're up to it, I have an idea to give the Naga an amusing surprise. Rika slowly pulls out a scroll and waves it in your face. I need some teeth from marine predators to cast the spell through. Spell, though. Luckily, the Naga brought some disgusting eels with them. Go gather their fangs and bring them back to me. Bilching. The Naga off to take what they want with care for who they are taking from. Perhaps we should do the same for them. Sorceress use pow powerful beacons to assist them with spellcasting. I the relics to strengthen my own work. Back with some better stories. Get cracking. While we try to figure out what to do with those channelers, we'll have to take shots where we can get them. Our men could use some assistance retaking parts of the lower walls. Kill some Naga for me, would you? We were holding off the Naga up until the latest attack. A few of our forces are still out there. Tide Maidens seem to be slowly, slowly torturing them to death. If you could save as many as you can find, we'd be one step closer to gaining the upper ground again. Tide waits for none, man. Say that you have the high ground? Too soon? Or... Oops. Do that. Go away. My queen. I've I didn't get one tooth from that. For queen I murdered three of them though. What did you do, Chain Lightning? <laughs> the last time I use you.
I mean, I didn't really. Get in there. Wasted that, whatever that was. Um, oh, 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 crap. Guess what? I can run on water. See ya. Can't stop it. Be alone. Bro, boot. Those boots. Perhaps the tortolins alone will be able to decipher what is written. Oh, he's a big one. Why did I attack him? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm helping. Already got most of the side done. And if Again, that one. It's 
scouts or battalion members rather. Oh, there's a couple right there. Sorry to steal your uh, thunder there, Proud Pally. No one else that needs saving. There's, there's someone. Attack. Which one you killed is one less my men have to worry about. Yeah? That works. Oh! <laughs> ah, I'll have some of my men move some cannons down to the seawall in preparation of whatever ritual is going down on that delta. We could use some extra ammo before we spread ourselves too thin, though. Luckily, those Naga harpoons work well enough with our mortars. Take down those lances and bring back any harpoons that you find. I've been talking with Rakal, and the Tortolan says that our problem in the Delta can't possibly be solved by turning the Naga's magic back on them. Oh, can probably be solved. Sorry. A few of the sorcerers on the south coast have a channeling wand that we may be able to use to break the head... Priestess's ritual channeling. Find one and bring it back to me. Okay. Fort walls only go so far when it comes to defense. We've got cannons in position to fire if the Naga get too close, but we need some fortifications further out. There should be a few good areas to set up some traps further down the beach. Those Naga will never know what hit Storm's coming. I think they will know. All right, cannonballs. Greetings, sir and ma'am. Your shark! Have you ever been bitten by a shark? I have. Numerous times. It stinks. Murlocs don't usually survive shark attacks. The ritual I had in mind is ready to cast. Let me know when you're prepared. Not everything in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered as I am. I've seen things that would scare you shellless. Uh oh. quick step closer and don't mumble finally I was done Woo. Talking kindly
you come from? Freezing. Pfft, I'm a dwarf. Okay, got the rod. Diggity. The harpoons. Wasn't too bad. I get a little, like, quest shock. You know, when I see all those goddamn quests. Let's hope these harpoons can fire from our cannons. I mean, not. Cannot allow this fort to fall. Even I can feel how much power this thing contains. I got some pants. Oh, good pants. Run across any other opportune spots, feel free to set up more mines. Snake with three heads. Now that all the preparation has been done, it's time to tackle the main threat. You can use the channeling rod you just found in conjunction with this scroll I got from Recall to break the shields around the Naga leaders in the Delta. Hurry, stop them before they finish their summoning. And clearing the Delta. Greatest of the Zethjir offensives sit within the Delta as we speak, waiting for the summoning ritual to be finished. If we can clear out the number of them, we'll finally have the upper hand. Get down there and cause as much chaos as you can. Don't get your ballast in a bind. Can you help me? You know, send some bros down. Bro stuff.
to work. Nope. Did it did very little damage. Gotta be a big piece of mean. Pretty little blighters. I love it when aggro tables don't work. I got you, bro. That's new. I don't know what that did. Big guy. Okay, sure there's something there not finished summoning.
Well, the bubble seems to be gone, but I don't like the looks of that whirlpool. Good work. That should deter the Naga for now. Let's prepare for an attack. Man the cannons! Defend the levee at all costs! of living long enough to face my pride. Well, that's bad. Suck on that. Suck on that. Or come on. Down you go, you piece of crap. We've done it! The Naga are defeated and the levy remains intact. Ooh, 116. From the depths they come. Nagar are mostly defeated and cleared out thanks to your help. We'll think twice before attacking again. Return to Brenadim and tell Squire Augustus to return to his normal station. They could. Let's go do that real quick, because I'm sure that doesn't like... So... Hey. Storm song will endure. Remember the storm song. Not have Brennan. Oh, there we go. the hand in Roland's see where that leads me Safe travels. Yeah, see? I didn't think that was going to start anything. Alright. Cycle of Hatred and Treasure and Deadwash. And look at my map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven quests. <laughs> Man. 
be, it'd be nice to know which ones actually led to the thing. I'm gonna assume uh, these two, but we'll figure it out. I'll make sure to make vids for all of them. <laughs>